let's go right into the action. Mouse Sports on Nuke. We had a lot of fun with these guys yesterday. We saw some impeccable rounds from Mouse on this map. And now, Navi are going to need to put a stop to them. Jumping through the yard are these T's. And Electronic waiting by Mini. Nice shot. It is traded onto Simple, who will be the first to fall in this entire series. Luckily, still a four on four as Mouse Sports get their way down lower. Navi have sent a rotation in the form of Boomish. And he does get the spot, the information, seeing the bomb and falling back safely into B. Yeah, Boomich trying to buy time, puts a doorway between himself and Mouse Sports. They actually will start to go into this vent position, trying to get up into the A bomb site, but Navi, they still got the majority Ooh. of their players here. So Mouse Sports, they've sprung the trap and they will get shut down. Electronic with three, Perfecto and Flamey put a kill up on the board as well, and Navi gonna find some. Oh, I like that. More of that, Trace. More of that. Of course, in this moment, we're gonna see more of Boomich. He's already found one kill on a Woxic. Now Ooh, things are going to start no. to turn around in the favor of Mouse Sports. Look at that. Rob, Kerrigan, and Frozen all getting kills in this round. Well, it's all over the map. Oh, Boomich, good timing. Coming up from lower and getting a kill. There's an M4 at his feet as well if he wants to upgrade his weaponry, and he shall. Right now, Mouse Sports have top and lower. The bomb getting planted on B. Rops is watching the rotation, and he kills Perfecto falling down the vent. That's a great frag for Mouse Sports. It does, of course, leave Boomich with a chance to get on that defuse sooner rather than later. But Chris J puts him in the dirt. Frozen. There we go. Really <laughs> takes his time to line that one up, but just to cement the kill. Yeah, now Mouse Sports oh, have yeah. They've got everything. They've got outside, they've got main, they've got T spawn, they've got CT spawn. But Perfecto's got an MP9. He's putting up kills on this site. Entries coming through for Mouse Sports. Rops saving the day alongside Woxican. Woxic is still watching for this wrap round. El Chuggo coming in clutch for Navi as Flamey takes him down from a range, but he will get dropped. Second player spotted earlier on in the lobby. The time has already ticked so far low. Mouse Sports have got a fourth on the T side, whether or not Navi like it or not. And simple, a kill and a retreat. That's all you can really ask for in this round. 4-1 lead for Mouse Sports. Now, is this going to go behind the, the thing and block the sight of a player who's sitting up top on the A site? That seems to be the case. Bass can probably fly through the wall and find that. It's actually, yeah, it's blocked off the position. Good call by Carrigan. The kills are in for Mouse Sports. They're just taking over the site. Simple still stands, and he stands strong. Two kills <laughs> from Simple, finding the headshot onto Carrigan. Frozen, given an opportunity in the clutch and he has found a lurk kill giving him the option to run down B. Frozen plugging in these numbers simple starts oh, to rush on yeah. in Frozen tries to maneuver but there's what? no out maneuvering simple. You can throw from the lobby it also clips through the wall and uh and force the player off that position so yeah Mouse Boss use a smoke it's even better I, I like the idea and you know, Navi now left with uh, another rifle round, at least in their favor. Simple wins a clutch with the AWP. And yeah, and if you saw last round, you know he's not something to mess with. Garrigan oh. just showing an elbow and loses his life. What? Insanity. A little bit of trouble reboosting in the rafters here. <laughs> All right, let's come on for fact, though. Boomich is like, nah, my He puts now, Boomich up there. Now, Boomich yeah. is like, bro, you're, you're garbage. This. And yeah, Chris this. J knows at this point. That something's going on, and they deal with both the players on top of the hut. This cannot be how the round falls oh, apart for Na'Vi, no. and it just might. Flamey and Simple, the last two players left. Simple gets oh. up. Oh, Woxic takes the Glock to him. Flamey with the big chug into the 1v1, and Woxic on the other side. Time working in his favor. Flamey trying to play around the hut, and Woxic repositions, oh, reads wow. it well, locks in the round for Mouse Sports. Yeah, you would think so. They keep doing this. Mouse Sports keep getting lower control to fake out the Na'Vi and then running up the vent to hit the A site, but this time, Na'Vi are ready. And I say that, the kills are still coming through. Mouse Sports are still making it a winnable round, despite this being initially a three on five. Harrigan going in, getting overwhelmed in the double heaven play. Woxing knows where they all are, and he's got the chance to hit the shots now in the one on two. Jumping player behind the silos, Woxic moving back in for more. Simple scoped up, though. If Woxic peaks this angle, it should be done, and Simple finds the round for Na'Vi. They needed that. Simple watching the cross outside. He's going to get a fight. Oh, ducking below, though. Avoided by Woxic. Not the second time round. Simple hits a shot. This does allow Carrigan to slip by towards outside. In response to all of this, Na'Vi starting to try and pressure into the hut. Boomich does walk to his demise. Perfecto going to try and take up his position for the trade. And Rops is able to snatch that gun away. 
Now an M4 retrieved, and there's still Carrigan, by the way, who was towards outside earlier on. Now he finds himself sneaking up into heaven, and Na'Vi don't know this. They don't have an idea that a player can be here. Perfecto, now alone inside of the A-bomb site, hidden oh. in the hut, gets spammed to death wow. by Rops and Chris J. And now Flamey thinks he's got a safe rotation, looking to hold on to this AWP, but uh-oh, what's this? Uh-oh! Oh dear, it's not clean, and Flamey wins it with a USP. That's pretty devastating for Mal's. That AWP is now stuck up in heaven, and they've got no way to get it. Oh, they wanted to try and pick up the pace, and this smoke has come in at the best time for Na'Vi. Oh. However, flash lined up for Flamey, Ooh. but... Oh, and... To make matters worse, there was a second flash thrown in that was really meant to be the one that he pushes behind, and he actually blocked it because he was blinded by the first flash. So this round, looking like it might elude Na'Vi. Chris J getting that trade and Electronic dealt with. Now Sports, they 10-5 this first half. A dominant lead moving into the CT side. Into the action. Simple on the, the P250 is always nice to see for Na'Vi. They arm him well with the raid boss. Carrigan tries to force fights towards lobby, fading back through the smoke and denying the vent drop. The info is there for Mouse and they don't have to rotate a player lower. That keeps more on this top site and that seems to be where Na'Vi want to end up. Simple pushing the perimeter down towards those secret stairs. Boomich has great position here, but Woxic is covering it. It's a bit of a mess right now. The bomb's gone down vents. It's gone down from after the smoke, and Mouse Sports weren't ready for that. Flamey getting a kill, but it's double traded back, and the bomb dropped on the site by Rox. He's been a hero in this map, but Simple, with that outside lurk coming in clutch, is it enough? Two on three for Na'Vi, and the bomb getting planted. I don't know. He kind of feels like he occupies, you know, four or five men worth of slots on his own. So... They start to pressure him. They start to try and get out through the window. Ooh. And they do make quick work of that man. Now Flamey left in the clutch position. Back of the site. Oh, oh doubles up. But Frozen is able to grab that trade. Fearing the hell position as well. 20 seconds. Electronic trying to fake out this lower site. So this is definitely a top play with that kind of spray. And Mouse Balls will probably read it. 15 seconds. Tick tock, Na'Vi. Yeah, they really have run the clock down to no room for error being allowed. But it doesn't look like there's going to be any. Bomb playing an upper, Electronic and Boomage getting two kills in this round. It's just going to be Chris J, Rops, and Woxic left to their own devices. I say that, Chris J immediately exits the round. Perfecto might look at home, but is a house always a home? For house sports, maybe Ooh. not. Molotov fades away smoke goes in through the squeaky it's a deep old smoke and there's a big gap on that yeah chris was trying to throw it onto the molly but the molly just expired yeah. right before he threw it so timing Ooh, wasn't great but the shot matter. is carrigan has he spotted has he realized he goes out and about the spray not connecting carrigan low and walks it finishes the job that chris started carrigan gets killed and that's a nice double from perfecto is there any more here for navi a two on three this was a two on five. Frozen's got the bomb still under his control, but the smoke in the main position is cut off his line of sight. Electronic might just go through it, but instead Perfecto picks it up. And Frozen spraying, desperately looking for damage. He doesn't fit. Electronic finished off by his teammate. Perfecto looking for the ace in the one on two. Oh, Ooh. and they line up ding, for ding. him. The issue that Mouse Balls are running into, like Harry mentioned, is this partial buy situation. They're by eco, by eco, until they start to pick up rounds. But that could be in the eco. Chris taking down Flamey. Rops is on the ramp, and he's got a deep shot as well, but he can't connect it. Moving and shooting, never the most accurate. It's going to be a flank for Mouse Balls into the lobby. They're still forcing fights. Chris has got his second kill with the Deagle. Carrigan been spotted. Needs to duck out of this one. Give Na'Vi B. Mouse Balls have enough players to retake, oh, but maybe it won't man. get to that, because Woxic is shredding them. Two kills. Perfecto grabs the orb swaps back out to the Krieg. He needs another 1v3 ace. Is he up for the task? No pressure, man. Here we go. Nowhere to go. They do have a man above the T-roof setting up utility into the A site. Is that all a ruse, though? Are they trying to keep mouse boards in the wrong position? That might be the case with them now walking towards ramp. Look how empty this spot is with a double B setup from mouse boards. They get free real estate. Being very loud about it, though, mouse boards are going to hear this push, but will it distract them from the real play that is simple and electronic in the secret? Pay attention to Rob. He's here in this site as well. Frozen's going to be down there to help the war effort. Takes down Flamey before he goes down to Perfecto. So look at this. Rob's still alive. They don't know he's here. Don't think it'll be hard clear. This bomb does get planted. And he still oh. just now shows face and really does lose his face at the same time. Chris J walks it. One on two. 
Can this AWP find the success on these last two players here for Navi? I mean, he's committed, dropping out of the vent. Woxic is hungry for this 1v2, but Perfecto is playing with his food. And with this crossfire set up between him and Simple, Woxic, it should be near impossible, and it is. Three kills for Perfecto and a 10th round on the board for Na'Vi. Electronic has to be careful. He's opened to heaven with those wide smokes if he wants to cross down here. And that will be abused by Frozen, who actually pushes through the gap, finding two kills. Electronic trades onto the AWP down lower, but Mouse will still have the advantage. Na'Vi has spread the pace up. This has been a very slow T side from them, but they want to get quick plant and beat Mouse Balls on these rotations. There's still a man in the lobby trying to sell, uh, a bit, or trying to catch these rotations rather, and Flaming will do so, getting a kill. Another man there though, he caught, he just jumps, he hits his head and gets stuck on the roof. It's Carrigan here to save the day for Mouse Sports. Boom, it's at the back of the site. Rough game. This is his time to shine. And it is. Two on one. He did pick up this off in side hall. Now he's going to see what he can do with it to keep this bomb from it. Looks oh. like a shot on a Carrigan, but Carrigan is absolutely on one these past couple of days. Oh, Rops is aggressing over here towards Ramperman with the defensive smoke thrown in. Na'Vi, are they going to be ready for a man to be this deep? This was a big gamble for Rops for, to even go through, right? Like that in and of itself is terrifying. The fact that he's gotten so deep, now he looks to reap the rewards with a fast rotation into the back line. Uh, Chris J playing around the top of the site. They didn't really know where he was. And it's okay. all gone a bit topsy-turvy, but this is still Ooh. looking like a 15th round for Mal's electronic. All alone, and Chris J sends him home. 15 to 10. One round from our sports is all that's needed, and there's no money in the Na'Vi camp. Might be a late commitment going back towards the yard. That is a very common one, throwing nades towards A and then falling back to that late outside control. But Na'Vi don't really have the weaponry nor the utility to play too long of a round here. They're just going to speed it up, try and play this top side. Karen's full flash, but he does recover well with one. However, the round looks like it's already done. Na'Vi's Deagles find every single kill on the doorstep of Mouseport. Frozen. Seems like he is aware of this being a potential, and he is able to get Boomich. Carrigan, in the meantime, with the big chug, removes another, puts this even further in favor of Mouse Sports. Electronic dinked up, but not finished off by Chris J. Yeah, there are some tasks that are just too tall for Mr. Simple. Ooh. Robs finds Electronic. Here we go. One on four. What's Simple going to do to keep him alive in this game? He's got 18 bullets in his magazine, Aww. but it's going to be Woxic. that only needs one in the AWP. So there you have it. The first map of this series going the way of Mouse Sports. But here we are. Rops already pushing up middle, and he's not alone. It's going to be Woxic there with him. Two heavy hitters for the side of Mouse Sports. They're going to get found out simple with a crack of an angle. Takes a crack of a shot there on a Rops, and that's going to go ahead and scare Woxic into oblivion. He takes the peak, realizes simple still holding the angle, knows that potentially reinforcements are going to show up, and they do in the form of electronic. The electricity is flowing through the server currently. They're going to be looking for their way to get out of long A from the stands of it. Ooh, here's Chris J. Well, he found one. He was good for one. Somehow stays My alive goodness. forever. Yeah, that was that was a very awkward engagement for everyone involved. <laughs> uh, now set up these cross smokes to try and get them into the site. Carrigan. Going to have Ooh. to do a hell of a lot. And with very little, he's getting pressured from long catwalk. Yeah, some say rivaling the likes of Electronics are simple. Uh, no one said that. You guys are that of the observing world, perhaps. <laughs> Bit of a stretch. Yeah, well, it's nowhere near as good as me. But uh, Frozen going to have to stretch so far in this round. Ooh. And that was a pretty easy one for him to stretch out and grab. Flamey falls, but the bomb's planted and there's nowhere to go. Nothing to do, no one to play with. This is probably going to be a mid to B, right? They lose that side of control. They throw these smokes on out. They've got Perfecto waiting in the upper halls and this is it. Na'Vi, they commit. They start to make their way into middle. Chris J drops the bomb and now looking for a little bit more. Ooh. Chris J playing with fire and he will get burned. Frozen and oh. rocks with a three-man oh. hold inside of B. The only man they're not able to topple is simple. That's maybe understandable. The man have tried and failed, but Frozen will do the dirty. Boxic has just come off of long. He swapped with Carrigan, and he is now in the perfect position to deal with this play. But you know Na'Vi are going to have multiple smokes upon this A site to cross towards a catwalk. Molotov gets uh, expired by the smoke. Second time's a charm. Flash is going over. Frozen does dodge them, but... 
to get closer, playing his own smoke as well. The Navi time is not great right now. 30 seconds more dodge on the flash. Frozen drops the bomb. Spray is good. And Flashbang finally catches him, but he looks away wow. and catches a kill. That might be a done round. That might be Navi even considering a save as they've lost the bomb and all control towards the A site. Flamey does get a kill on a rotation through middle, but at this point it's a null and void frag. It's a done round. It's a fourth for Mal Sports. So, you know, nice info play from Carrigan, but ultimately it's the rest of Mouse Balls to get it done in the post part. And Electronic, he'll start this round off with a storm. Spray is back for Frozen. The Molotov has kept Flamey back. He's going to try and commit ahead of the next set of flames, but Frozen will throw him a shot to the face. It's a four on three. It's Mouse Balls back in control. Yeah, you know, Flamey getting out there trying to find that frag, you can't really be too mad about, oh. albeit going out one by one, you should be. Flamey finds that frag. This immediately changes it to another round. However, it already has morphed from the beginning. Simple and Boomich left alone. Or maybe it does. Here we go. Boomich goes to the peak, finds Ooh. the kill. Not sure what you can accomplish here, really, other than seeing a player who might be on top of the site, but that's not going to be the case here for Mouse Sports. Chris on the card. Oh, nice wow. bait. And Simple's going to get the shot off as well. A chance hit for Navi to make this two on three happen. That's a leg going the way of Woxic onto Simple, and he still sits here on the site. Ten seconds. He's one kill for the Molotov. It's a problem. He can't see through it. Rops gets a trade onto the man himself, and Boomich with the plant. Two kills in this round. Rops it. Rops looks to double his as well, and he's crept out. Boomich has no idea, and Rops has the round for Mouse Sports. Navi looking to bounce back here on their T side. Oh, back to this long play, but Frozen, he absolutely mopped them up last round. Navi think the pause, the break in the action maybe gives them a bit of a head start, but it's not the case. Rops has pushed middle, he's going to bail. Good decision as Navi decide to leave long and come back to this position. Simple is scoped up. Rops, he's dead. No chance in that fight. May, they maybe have just outplayed Malsports in this round. They're going back through T spawn. Chris. If he hangs around, he's going to hear this, and he will have the element of surprise. The only question for me is, does Electronic come back and kill him before he deals with the players in B? That's not the case. Carrigan's got the frag, and now Chris can go massive. Yeah, Simple gets deleted, and... Oh, oh they didn't know. Luckily enough, Flamey has his, has his wits about him. That could have gotten <laughs> out of hand very, very Ooh. quickly. Carrigan Ooh, and Woxic in the hot seat, and... Woxic throws the smoke in. Now that's to try and disguise the fact that no one's coming from tunnels and doesn't really work. Woxic is able to get one kill, but Perfecto trades and keeps Na'Vi in that round. So Carrigan, no choice but to take dry fights. It does force the issue, taking down Flamia early on. Still a man behind blue. But I said, the utility is lacking. So Mouseport's going to look to contact play this one. There's still a hold on the corner of Long. The bomb in the hands of Simple, but Boomich is gone as well. And Simple, if he dies here, that's the bomb. So if, at the very least, he should throw that behind him. But making an even better decision just to completely vacate the area. Go join his team up on the catwalk and set up for an A play. Well, the poll is out there. That's at ESLCS Twitter. Get your vote in. If you voted for no, then... Well, I don't know what you were thinking. Either way, a big grenade there to land for Watson. And by that, I mean it sends him uh -oh. flying. Electronic is on an absolute tear here in a 1v5. 1v3 now, rather. And Rops has his own plans. We're getting towards the latter stages of this half. Oh, that's not a good start. Two for one. Electronic got tagged. He was also running down the same position. No, I mean, you know, this is a scary spot for Na'Vi to be in. You know, it might be 8-4, but when you put this in the perspective that the first uh, three rounds that Na'Vi were able to get were on the back of the pistol and then the follow-up of Mouse Sports. Electronic tries to do what he can, but ultimately it might not be enough. Simple and Perfecto left in the hot seat now. Speaking of hot, things are heating up for Woxic. Molotov falls right behind him. Simple trying to keep an eye on Catwalk while Woxic has his attention fixated here onto Perfecto. And it's clean for Mouse Sports. As no AWP can be fielded by Mouse. They've been running double AWP most of this game. So Woxic is now on a scout. Chris J does get an M4. But Simple's already taken one of those two players out of the picture. Woxic dead on the long play. Trying again for Na'Vi. Failing again for Na'Vi. And Chris J drops Boomage. It's quite the ropsicle. And moreover, he is quite the person to hold this site down, if anyone. Mid to B smokes have come out. That's going to be simple to throw that, but he's going to be joining his teammates here in upper B as they're going to aggress into this B site. Just under a minute left on the clock. Rops with the first point of contact. He gets also the first vision on the enemy. Only good to take down Electronic, but does considerable amount of damage to Flame in the meantime. 
actually subsequently gets the kill. And we're going to see the bomb planted here for Navi in this last round of the half. Yeah, a grenade would be lovely for now. Supposed to throw it into the bomb plant. Instead, they've got to throw players at it. And Flamey right. getting overwhelmed. Simple now in the clutch. But he's stuck on the car. He's got to drive his way to first place and find a sixth round for Navi at the end of this half. The flash is good, but no one gets a kill behind him. So now Sports are sneaking in there, moving slowly. And Simple's given a chance, but he's not going to find Frozen. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care. I'm not invested. Oh, okay. In well, anyway. in that case, he doesn't really care. And <laughs> neither should you. We're looking at GG.bet odds. Navi, not the favorites. Mouse Sports. Dominant showing in the first half. Now they're going to switch to the T side, and it looks like they're going to head straight into this beef off site. Electronic good for two. Perfecto teaming up to find some for himself. Hello. But look at this. Chris J. He's going to line him up. One, wow. two, click, clack. And that's that. One on three. Got a big old pair of eyes, but Flamey gets rid of him. And Navi get themselves a pistol run. Yeah, here comes a scout on Woxic. He's going to get a shot on a Perfecto, and that is already a jump start in the round here for Mouth Sports. Frozen finding his way out long as he's good for one as well. Oh, Almost. Man. Boomich goes down to 22 HP. Another Molotov's going to come in there. That's caused quite the fury. Quite the dilemma for long A, and at least the long players. Yeah. But don't worry, no one is there anymore. Mouse Sports have backed out. They've gone towards middle and upper B. And what we can see is Navi don't have a kit in this round apart from the one drop middle. So they need to pick that up when they do rotate to this B site as Mouse Sports set up for the execute here. Chris is in such a good position. Now, I don't think Navi have realized that yet. Flamey has to hold the line. He's alone inside of the site. Chris spamming with a deagle. Surely no more than one, but he gets damaged. Boomish was already low, rather. It's a two on two. The plant coming through. Woxing might have this shot, Ooh. and that could put Simple in the hot seat. A clutch for Simple. It's a nice read from Simple, but. You know, a nice read doesn't equate to a round win. And so Mouse Sports, they do manage to steal this force by round back. They've been very, very good at this. Yeah, it's scary as well, right? Because losing this second round is far worse than uh, if you lose the pistol. You know, you actually get a buy like sooner. And oh my. this no, round matters a hell of a lot fair. to Na'Vi, and that is a big start. A pretty miraculous one if they get away with it. That smoke gets missed because it's blocked by Rops, and he has got the entry now and find these kills. 30 seconds, smoke on the site. Na'Vi hiding behind this utility. They can buy as much time as they want. Simple in the corner. He's ready in the goose. The goose is loose, and it's time to abuse Mouse Sports. A two-sangle angle here from Waxic. Yeah, but he's trying to put Simple in the noose. Frozen does manage a bit of damage down range. However, his time on this earth is very, very limited. He throws the AK up and away, but Frozen, they're not going to kill you till that timer runs out. And that is devastating for Mouse Sports. In the last round, it was Carrigan to get burned down by the Molly in this one. Chris J ain't looking so healthy. He's going to try and lead the charge, and Simple is here in the A-bomb site. They're trying to pressure him, but this is a man who copes well under pressure. However, not under bullets, as they are kind of one of his weaknesses. He's able to just hold on to this long angle, and for Boomish, this is horrible, man. Like, what can he even do? The moment he turns away, he can get pincered. Rops is even flanking into the B site. Oh, Rops! Almost three. Not quite the hat trick, but definitely enough. That is one word to describe that for sure. Flash coming out long. Chris is going to follow it. And here's Boomish. Let's see what he's got up his sleeve. Sick flashbang. Mm. Really do love to see that. That's so cool. Like, he's peeking. Doesn't blind him because it falls beneath the barrier. And if they want to be fighting the guy showing his head over here on the ramp, you've got to peek into that flash. That's actually really cool. And I imagine that won't be the last time we see that flash make an appearance. Yeah, but they've got utility to deal with him. Carrigan's going to run up. He doesn't see. Has a smoke phase. Electronic sprays. What? Carrigan. That is a heroic trade, though. It may look like he let the ball drop, but at least he doesn't let ele Electronic double down and get the bomb under his control. Carrigan now has that back, and the kills are coming in clutch for Mouse Sports. It's done. It's already over. Navi are out of this one. It's 15 to 9. Mouse Sports might be about to make quick work of them here on the Realm of Dust 2, which let's not forget, this was Navi's map pick. And this one. They're going to be even more dominant than Nuke. Nice trade. Mouse Boss have just been so on top of this, this, you know, teamwork and, and going into position together. Keeping things even, four on four.
Frozen trying to get out long. He is lurking this round. He is on his own. So that kill is crucial as he takes the A site under control. Simple on the site. Has to move from the Molotov. He's down low. Frozen finishes the job. He's already run right up long. Carrigan is here as well. And now it's just two players of Na'Vi looking to do the impossible against Mal Sports. A two on four to keep this series on. That's a great shot from Perfecto. Getting an AK. But is he ready for the top of middle? That's where Frozen sits. And that's where Frozen waits as he looks to close out this series. It's Flamey on just 10 points of health in a one on three. Safe to say, I think this one might be done, boys. Yeah, formalities at this point. Somehow 10 goes to 5, goes to 0. We have Mouse Sports picking up the dub here over Navi in two maps.